It's your girl Ainge back again with another video. It's been a good, 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 good minute since I've vlogged. And I felt like the best way to come back on was with like a sit down and talk and update y'all on everything on life, on where I've been, why I've been MIA, where I'm going, and just to let y'all know that we're back. <laughs> Y'all like, you say this every six months, but no, real stuff, like, there's always something constantly going on, and yeah, you know what, I'm not going to explain it, there's no excuse, I'm here today, and I'm back, and that's what's up, and you just gotta start somewhere, you gotta get into it, and be persistent, and I'm ready to do that, um, so y'all probably wondering where your girl's been, so I don't quite recall the last vlog video I did but I know that it was either right after I graduated yeah it was right after I graduated um and I was just talking about how I got the job as a nurse practitioner and everything um and so now I'm back just kind of with a lifestyle vlog um, I just want to inspire people around me I feel like I kind of already naturally do that and I felt like that's what inspires me to want to continue to vlog just because like I have many people that come to me for like advice and things that I do on a daily just to better myself and improve my life um, and I feel like why not share it I'm not the one to be selfish and want to keep stuff to myself I definitely just want to aid in helping people but more importantly women be better and I'm still a work in progress and I feel like I want y'all to be a part of that journey with me as well not just that i'm sitting here and i'm perfect and i know everything and i got it all together and life is just great because it's not that way but um you know i think i'm in a point in my life where i feel ready to kind of share my journey and have y'all on a ride with me and we can do some things together and then i can take pointers and tips and things from y'all and i can give y'all pointers and tips and things like that so i'm kind of going to go just like in a little like spill like career life things like that like order of like what's been going on so i guess since i said it career and that's the last thing i left off with um it's been i've been a nurse practitioner or working as a nurse practitioner um for about a year and a half now and i'm still at the same facility i'm still growing and learning i feel like i'm so much further than i was uh, a year ago um i feel like i'm making progress at um work and in my career field at this point i'm getting more involved with like teaching others actually this upcoming fall i will be a preceptor so y'all remember when i was in clinical and i was telling y'all about me going to clinical and learning and growing now i'm about to be and then my the person who trained me and helped me get to where i am today now i'm gonna be one of those people to help somebody who's in school now to help them in their future i am beyond nervous but i'm also beyond excited to be just be able to make a difference in somebody's life i also know that i'm still a novice nurse practitioner so i'm still growing and learning and i feel like sometimes even i felt like this as a bedside nurse teaching is your best teacher so i feel like even if there's things i think one of my things that i was telling people like i'm so nervous like i still don't know everything what if um she asked me something and i don't know the answer that's okay i think like one of the things that i have feel like you need to embrace is just not knowing everything and I, I need to take my own advice and just embrace that I won't know everything. And that's okay. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and tell you what I think the answer is. We're going to also being a part of being a teacher and learning is to use your resources. So I think I can utilize that. Like, I don't know the answer, but look, we have this doctor right here. I got my colleagues over here. We got this book right here. And we're going to figure out this answer together. So I think I'm just going to be using that to kind of embrace the, the, the not knowing or the fear of not knowing. So I'm excited. That'll be this fall. And like I said, I'm back. So I'll keep y'all posted on how that's going, how that goes. And if there's anybody out there who has precepted as a nurse practitioner before and you have any tips, then please give it. Um, or just in general, any like in general tips of just having somebody under you. That's what's really been going on with me as far as like career wise and just continue to learn and grow. Um, next up is just. I guess we'll do life in general and I feel like that's where I have like the main like bigger updates so I think last year 2021 maybe like May June we started house hunting um and we were looking for a house to buy and right we just couldn't find the exact house we wanted 
through that process, we kind of spent the whole summer just looking and we found this one, um, I don't know, I guess neighborhood, it's a, a, a residency area that I wanted to say. It's another word I wanted to say. We found that in like June and we thought like, oh, we really like that. We kind of fell in love with it, but then we was like, well, let's just keep looking. And then by August, it was just like, eh, we kept going back to this one residency area. And so we ended up deciding like, let's just go back and just, you know, see our options there and see, you know, we had already known our amount and like what we could afford. So at that point, let's just see if we can afford it, blah, blah, blah. So we took the steps, we came seller we're well, not really a seller because it's like an overall builder builder let's just say builder um and um like they already had a couple of already builds um that we could have purchased but like it he has seen the model home and once you see a model home with all the upgrades y'all let me tell you if you have not bought or built a house yet especially built a house once you see the model home with the upgrades be careful because that's the hardest part of like building a house because you may like you're gonna have this loan set amount yeah you may qualify for so much more but you kind of know what you can afford you know what you want to afford you know what you kind of like kind of as far as the mortgage process don't want to go over you know what i mean so like you'll be in your head like well they, they, they approved us for this amount, amount though so we could you know what i mean so when you see the model home and you see all these upgrades you're like i want this i want that i want this i want that i want everything and then you see the standard home and you're like mm -hmm, you know it's nothing like the model so that was like our difficulty so we seen the model and then we seen one that was already built and it was kind of standard it didn't have many of the upgrades that the model had and it was kind of just like nah i really don't like it like we're not like so happy anymore so we ended up building a home we started that process last august we signed our papers in the end of august of 2021 um, they did not start building our home until October, and then we moved into our home in this May that just passed, May 2022. So y'all count the months. That'll be a whole nother video on its own, but I just wanted to say like, that's one thing that's been up with me is we built a house. And so we had to like go through that whole moving process. You know, we, the house we were previously in, we were renting. So we had to like move, move out there and it was a house. So we had so much furniture and stuff and we, like vowed that when we moved to this house we were not gonna be like we're never cluttery we're very clean kept people and stuff like that but you ever just like buy stuff and don't realize how much stuff it is until you're moving and you're packing and you're like dang i ain't seen this in a minute like damn like you just start seeing stuff and you're like shit i don't want this you know what i mean so like update we bought a house we built a house and we're living in that house and i will give y'all a house tour um shortly i actually have an empty home tour already in my phone I may or may not post that, but I'll for sure post a video of the furnished house tour. Um, told you about career, we brought, built a home, and then in that process, we still just couldn't sit still. There was still just something missing. We just felt like, you know, um, you guys have watched my infertility video, and um, that's still like a whole nother video in its own, but really nothing much to talk about. It's just, you know, still a work in progress. Um, and so in that, it's just kind of like, we want a family, and... We had kind of been talking about this, we just didn't know the right timing. And so I guess we found the right timing because in that process, uh, we came, got a, no longer a puppy. Well, he is a puppy. A puppy, come here, AC. <laughs> we got a puppy, his name is Ace. He is a multi poo and he is about to be seven months old. Say hi, say hi. Anyway, he's camera shy because he not used to being on the camera. Um, so we got him in before we moved, like crazy people. We weren't thinking really. We just did it impulsively. It was like one of them things like, oh, the breeder has it ready. Let's just get him. And so we got him in April, moved in May. Crazy. Call us crazy. Yeah. Um, so we did that, but it's working. Um, so we have him. He's very much spoiled. And then last but not least, as far as life update, actually very recently, um, well, I, this is a part of the same update. We got um, re-engaged. Um, my was fiance proposed to me um, in March. Uh, again, that was a beautiful story. So I'll also share that in another video, um, but it was really wonderful. And so he proposed and then we decided to once we moved and everything, we wanted to kind of like have a housewarming, but we also just knew we wanted to have a wedding too and just get married and make it happen. And not a big wedding at all. Um, so we decided to get married. And so we did that this past Friday. 
on August 26th. So your girl is a wife. Um, so yeah, new last name. And that's really what's been happening. And so, you know, that's a whole nother video too, because the planning that, even though it was a very small wedding, we did it at a courthouse, it was a courthouse chapel, which was very beautiful. Um, it was um, a process, because first of all, we're both perfectionists and we just like everything to turn out just how we wanted. And we just like, you know, at the even though it's small and very intimate, which is honestly, after doing it, I would never do it another way again, even if um but yeah so we had it and so like we had a plan and prepare for the whole weekend most of my family as y'all know is not from here um they are from maryland so they had to fly out and stuff so we just wanted to make sure everything was just right not necessarily just for them for us too and it was a beautiful weekend so we got married tied the knot so now it's us in our new home officially unified and so that's really what's been going on so it sounds like a lot then it has been a lot in one year and like now at this point just ready to kind of chill out settle down and i have so much stuff that i just want to like take y'all on a journey with me on i have my women's empowerment group that i'm the president of and that's a whole nother video as well um so like i'm just kind of throwing a little psh, at y'all so y'all can know like i got stuff coming so like my women's empowerment group i want to tell y'all about it i want to introduce introduce y'all to it and everything is very also intimate at this time because it's still early and we're still in the process of just growing and the goal of mine is to grow each year but that is in the works and then i'm just working on me um you know i feel like so much of my time in the past has been just so devoted on my career and getting to where i am today and I want to get a career so that I can afford a home and, you know, build a family and stuff like that. And, like, I never really sat down and just focused on Angel. So, also, in this past year, like, while they were building a house, I did a lot of work on myself. And I started, like, I bought, like, a lot of self-help books and, like, really divulged and all that. And, like, really started doing the work to improve me mentally. Like, just internally and externally for my own self and my own happiness. And I feel like I'm making progress. I am nowhere near where I wanna be. I feel like it's gonna be so far along down the road. There's gonna be ups and downs, but I'm just ready for y'all to also join me on that, join me on that journey. Um, I've been yoga-ing. Um, I felt like that's not something I wanted to like put out on display. Cause I feel like it's not really, not for those who do display it, like, but for me, it's not really real. I'm not really feeling it when I'm just doing it for the camera. I want to do it for me first. I want to get every benefit from it on my own before I'm ready to put it out there on the camera. And so, like, I'm I'm proud of how far I've come with it. I've made it more so of just, like, a new hobby for myself and not just a job or something. So, like, I'm excited to also share that part of my journey. And I'm nowhere near as flexible as a lot of these women out here. And that's not even a goal of mine to get flexible. I just love how it makes me feel physically and mentally. It's just literally, like, I'm. it's just so calming to me. So, I'm definitely excited to share that journey with y'all and just everything. So, y'all sit back, get ready to take a ride on me as I come back stronger, harder than I ever did before with this vlogging and this video and sign Angel Janae is back. And also make sure y'all follow me on Instagram because I'm also back on there because I definitely took a break from that, but I'm back. <laughs> So it's also at signed Angel Janae. You'll see it on the screen and I'll catch y'all on the next video vlog. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give y'all any promises of how much I will vlog, how many how often I will post until I get persistent with it. And then we'll you'll kind of see the schedule as it comes along because I don't want to make any promises and I don't want to break any promises. Check y'all later.